up, everybody? My name is Andrew. I'm an independent videographer and the owner of AAO Media, your favorite video production company in sports and more. I want to welcome you to the number one episode of AAO Presents Behind the Lens, where I will be interviewing athletes that I've had the pleasure of shooting for and ask them about their past, present, and future endeavors. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. My first guest is a pro MMA fighter fighting out of deep water grappling and striking house under the tutelage of his head coach, Kelvin the Hero Harbaugh. He is a striking specialist, undefeated as a pro, capturing his last two victories in devastating KO fashion. He is a former amateur champion and future pro champion. He is the weapon. He is Jacob Wiggins. How's it going, Jake? What up? It's going good. How are you? Doing pretty good. So you're all you're all weighed in, ready to go? Yeah, yeah, weighed in uh, 2 p.m. today. So nice, man. So we're here yep. the night before the fight. Uh, let's talk a little bit about your camp. How did that go? Oh, good. It's uh, it. I feel like it doesn't end. You know, <laughs> uh, I fought in what was it January, and then. I, I'm probably getting the dates wrong, but this is my third third pro fight of this year, so there hasn't really been any time off. So, yeah, yeah. for sure, I got some go, 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 go from your go. camp this year flashing across the screen. It looks like you trained with like I believe this last guy is a Muay Thai champion. Yeah, um, yeah, Lerdzilla. That that was pretty cool. That's awesome, man. Yeah, let's talk a bit. Let's before we get jump into fighting. Let's talk about kind of what you do outside of the cage. Um, so a lot of your fans may not know that you're a weapon in the cage, but you're also a master of weapons outside of the cage. Uh, tell me about that gig and being a fire, firearms instructor and why you started doing it. Yeah, yeah, you could you could say that for sure. I, I like to I like to shoot stuff, man. <laughs> Uh, I just, I was in the military, so I like guns. I like being around them. I like shooting them. Um, I like being proficient with my hands. So that's definitely, uh, something I do on the side. I'm obviously focusing on my MMA career right now. That's number one, but when it's not in the gym, uh, that's, that's pretty much what I like to be doing. You know, that's my, one of my other things. I, one of the things I do as a hobby, I shoot a lot. Um, work for a security company now so i work with a gun um not every day but it's something i do and we train pretty often so cpl classes all that stuff nice man so why do you think it's important for people to learn these skills um well i mean obviously i think it's important for people to know how to defend themselves but it's not always a fist fight and kickboxing match you know sometimes there's weapons involved sometimes you got to protect other people sometimes you can get caught off guard you know sometimes people are trying to rob places there's uh, i mean we could go into rabbit holes about all kinds of things but it's not always just your hands you know so i like For being sure. able to be good with my hands and be good with tools as well yeah man for sure and you're helping other people coaching coaching both <laughs> yeah yeah all right, so let's talk about your opponent, Mike Thompson. Uh, yeah. He's coming off, looks like a two-fight losing streak, but he's a veteran with 10 pro fights. Uh, now you're obviously coming off two huge knockouts um, to start your pro career. Mike has only been stopped once via strikes, and that was his last fight back in June. Uh, are you looking to repeat the process in sunning KO fashion again, or are you looking to take a different route, mm -hmm. show more aspects of your game? I know Coach Kelvin... Uh, Carvin Harbaugh, he actually submitted Mike back in 2019 as an amateur. So what do you think? Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, you already know what uh, what my answer is going to be, and I think most people do too. Um, it'd be fun to get in a grappling exchange. I think uh, I'm a lot more well-rounded now, and I think um, I would be very comfortable there, but I'm going to let my hands go, man. Oh, for and sure. They're going to do the work for me. So, Absolutely, man. Yeah. So, um, over the past year or so, um, in your pro career here, like how has, how has your ground game came along? Um, and what have you done to improve it? Cause I know 
first fight that I filmed. You unfortunately went down uh, to Ethan York via Rear Naked. Yeah. Um, has that loss bugged you at all ever since? Uh, or, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, very, very one, much so. Is that one you're looking to get back in the future once Ethan turns pro? Oh, uh, maybe. I honest to be honest, there's there's a couple guys that are still amateurs that we've had some uh, some run ins to, and that I think would be great matchups. But I'm I'm already ahead of them, and I think I'm going to climb a lot faster. So they're left behind, um, and I'm I'm moving on. You know, so true that absolutely. So. So win this Friday in similar fashion could obviously put you in in the picture to compete for your first professional title with WXC. Um, what does me winning a professional title mean to you? And is that the ultimate goal or is this just another stepping stone to make it to the big show? Um, yeah, so there, I've already, you know, thought about that and people have already brought it up. That's definitely not, not the ultimate goal. That's just uh, the next step on the ladder, you know, on the hill. Um, but more than likely, I'm going to stick with WXC and uh, be with them for a little while. Maybe win a title um, or two and then uh, wait, wait for some better calls than uh, to move on from WXC. For sure, man. All right. Well, one last question. Friday, tomorrow night, Dort Financial Center, WXC Halloween Havoc. How will you defeat Mike Thompson? Um, I, dude, I, I really want to get ahead kick KO, man. I've been trying. <laughs> that would be awesome. I'd be sad my, not to be there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My, my hands usually get it done, but I'm going to try to, I want to do it with my feet, but if my hands do it, then I'm obviously not going to be upset either, but one of those two, my hand, my hands or my feet, one of them will get it done, but it'd be cool to get ahead kick KO. Well, I love to hear it, man. It was great talking to you. Uh, that's all the questions I got. This is the inaugur inaugural episode here of AAO Presents Behind the Lens. I'm looking forward to checking the highlights from your fight and hopefully getting back with you behind the lens again for your pro title bout. Awesome. Well, I appreciate it so much. Not a problem, man. Good luck tomorrow. All right. Thank you. Later. See ya. All right, everyone, that concludes the first episode of AAO Presents Behind the Lens. I'm looking forward to get back with you next week with another special guest from the deep well of Michigan, Michigan's top athletic talents that I've had the pleasure of documenting. So let me know what you think of the format, and I will continue to improve it. I'm back, back next week, same time, same place. Later. <laughs>